Homeowner, replacing a CP2 coping and concrete deck. If I remove CP2 coping, do I need to replace it before a bullnose paver is put over it? What are the steps? Currently, it's a concrete deck with CP2 coping. Okay, so what I would do, if you're looking to do a bullnose coping, I would remove the CP2 coping completely, the patio, then the CP2 coping, and not replace it with a seat with with that same bullnose coping replace with a face mount coping so now if you picture picture you have the wall of the pool the steel wall of the pool is right here and the cp2 kind of curved coping and the patio over the top of it break that out get rid of that coping uh get a face mount coping that that mounts right at the bottom so it's it's flush with the the top of the wall uh, if, if you're doing a brick paver bullnose, what I would do is I would suggest pouring a concrete collar all the way around the pool about a foot back and about a foot deep to stiffen that wall up and then put your paver, you glue your paver, mud your paver on and now your liner just attaches at the bottom of the coping. So you have wall and liner, copings right here, it's just a little strip that you lock the liner in and now you have your bullnose of, of pavers, then you do whatever you want on the back side. But I would not put bullnose coping then paper on top. It's just going to look ridiculous. I would eliminate that whole thing and just do a face mount coping so that the liner comes up and stops right at the bottom of the bullnose. The bullnose is over the top, and now you finish the patio however you want to.